getting him to prison. Question number seven, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries, and it asks, does he have confidence in New Zealand's current biosecurity arrangements? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Nathan Guy. On behalf of the Minister for Primary Industries, yes. Richard Prosser. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. What assurances can he give that drug runners and smugglers are not exploiting loopholes and vulnerabilities in the direct exit initiative? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, point of order, I believe that that well, question... Order, is... Hang on, if, if the member calls a point of order, you've po got to wait till a point of order is acknowledged. Point of order. Uh, point of order, the Honourable Nathan Guy. On behalf of the uh, Minister for Primary Industries, Mr Speaker, this question is uh, down as a biosecurity question. I believe that member is straying into an area of customs and that question would be better suited to be addressed to the Minister of Customs. Order. The Minister is the sole judge of whose responsibility such an issue is. I do accept that. The member will need to make sure his questions rely in the responsibility area of the Minister of Primary Industries, not the Minister of Customs. Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How can he be confident that all dangerous goods and potential biosecurity hazards entering New Zealand from Australia under the Direct Exit Initiative are detected when experienced customs staff have expressed concerns that they are understaffed and that biosecurity detection dogs are not adequately deployed. Order, it seems to me the member in his own question has raised the issue of, of how customs staff see this thing. And the minister already pointed out that the Minister of Primary Industries is not responsible for customs. And I, I fear that we may have a situation where the question has been directed perhaps to the my office would be unaware of the direction the member wanted to take his question because he only asked whether the minister had confidence in New Zealand's biosecurity arrangements for which that minister is responsible, but he is not responsible for our customs arrangements. I'll hear a point of order from the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Speaker, if you look at the question, what is being asked of this minister, who after all is the most concerned minister regarding primary industries is, is he as the primary industries minister someone who has confidence in our biosecurity arrangements? Now, he may not be the only minister responsible for this, but he needs to tell the farming and uh, export community whether he's got any confidence in what's in place now. That's what we're, being asked, we're asking of him. That's why he's being asked. Order. Well, the, if I recollect correctly, the minister answered that he did have confidence in our biosecurity arrangements, but then he was asked a matter about customs. And the minister has indicated that he doesn't have responsibility for those issues. And, and he is the, the judge of that. It appears if it was an absolutely outrageous proposition from the Minister to speak, you would intervene, but it seems a reasonable proposition from the Minister that the Minister of Customs is responsible for those matters. I invite Mike Saban, though, to ask further supplementary. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Richard Prosser. <laughs> my God, my, my apologies. Thank, thank you, Mr. Richard Speaker. Prosser. I don't have such a large voice as, as Mr. Saban. Mr. Speaker, is, to the Minister, is he happy to jeopardise seven to eight billion dollars per annum of New Zealand's agricultural exports from the South Island? where there are a total of four biosecurity dogs to protect three international airports and six seaports. The Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Primary Industries, dogs, of course, are just one measure in uh, biosecurity. The member might be interested to know that the number of dog handlers has increased in the last 12 months. I, I am advised. And, and also... At, and, and also, can I go on to say that all other biosecurity screening processes in place, e.g. profiling, risk assessment, x-rays and baggage searches, of course, carry on. Richard Prosser. Point of order, Mr Speaker. I oh, point of order, Richard Prosser. I, thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek leave to table a letter to the Minister uh, dated 4th of January this year from a highly experienced biosecurity officer outlining these concerns. Leave us sort of table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Su supplementary question, the Honourable Damon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, is it now national government policy to not test risk material coming into New Zealand for fear of identifying unwanted organisms or for fear of, quote, highlighting perceived failings of math over clearance and potentially further alarming stakeholders, unquote, as happened with 2.3 million rogue strawberry seeds 
the not too distant future solved by the warehouse. The Honourable Nathan Gay. On behalf of the Minister of Primary Industries, no, I want to ensure that biosecurity in New Zealand continues to be a world-class system. Certainly in, in the example that the member have raised about strawberry seed importing, it's worth noting that Netherlands didn't pick up the strawberry seeds in the consignment. I'm also informed that the importer didn't pick up the fact that strawberry seeds couldn't come into New Zealand. And also, Mr Speaker, it's uh, relative to mention that in a 10-page document that the uh, strawberry seed was referred to as, as a Latin name, Fregaria, and uh, MAF uh, are reviewing their internal processes to make sure that become more stringent in this particular area. Question, oh, Ryan Ronald Winston, Peter's supplementary question. Uh, given that the minister admitted that there were more trained dog handlers than dogs, how long did it take him to train those dog handlers without dogs to sniff the drugs to <laughs> give him the confidence to provide the answers he gave in the House today? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, if that member was listening, he would realise that sniffing drugs for these dogs is actually a corrections issue. Question number eight, David Bennett. 